So when we are given a t by t matrix, we can find its eigenvalues by solving this characteristic equation. So let's construct this equation first of all. In order to do this, we need to find this matrix, so which is going to be the A, which is 4, 1, 1, 4, minus lambda, which we don't know yet, multiply this identity, which should be the same size as the A matrix, which is 1, 0, 0, 1. And if we construct this matrix, it's going to be 4 minus lambda, 1, 1, 4 minus lambda. So we need to create a characteristic equation. We can do this by equalizing the determinant of this matrix to be 0. So the determinant of this matrix is 4 minus lambda in the square minus 1. It is equal to 0. If we open the brackets and simplify everything, we're going to obtain lambda square minus 8 lambda plus 15 is equal to 0. So please note that we can uh, factorize this quadratic equation is going to be lambda minus 3 multiplied to lambda minus 5 it is equal to the 0. It means that the first eigenvalue of this matrix is equal to the 3, that the second matrix, the second eigenvalue is, is equal to the 5. So please note that the eigenvalues are very much connected with the matrix A. So if you find the determinant of this matrix A, which is going to be 4 multiplied to the 4 minus 1, which is 15, and the trace of this matrix A is equal to the 8, the trace of the matrix is the sum of its diagonal entries, which is going to be equal to the 8, which is very connected with its eigenvalues. Right? So we see the determinant of the matrix A is the multiplication of its eigenvalues, and the trace of the matrix A is the sum of its eigenvalues. And we can use this equation uh, without solving the roots of the quadratic equation most of the time.